The Tourabrite is so special to me. It's my home roads. It's where I train when I'm here in the summer. I think you only have to look at the view we've got behind us and you get those views wherever you ride. Right, and the Alpine region here in Victoria is my number one place in the world. The Tour of Bright's just fantastic. It's such a well-organised stage race. You've got beautiful climbs, wonderful valley roads. The level of racing is just next level. All the locals come out ahead of the national championships. Everyone's firing. When you're riding, you can kind of like see the hills and you're like, I've got to get up to the top of there. And you're like, oh, it's a long way to go. And then the girls just fly at the bottom there. You just got to hang on for dear life. In terms of the gradients and the lengths, you see the same numbers as you would when you're doing some of the major climbs in the Pyrenees or the Alps. Ali, Ali, Ali. <laughs> Spectacular train to race on. And it's a great opportunity as an amateur to be able to race in such a great area. We've got two teams and a few support people and a few parents here that all come for the fun and eat, have a few drinks, go chuck a few loops in the day and uh, kick back. Being able to ride with people like the pros, it's like amazing, like girls who race overseas. It feels really like inspiring to ride in the bunch. It's really good because I get to ride with some of my idols. It just puts into perspective how good they really are. For me to be able to ride the Tour of Bright now and sort of try and inspire the younger kids or go for a train ride with them before the racing makes it really special.